I remember when I was a boy watching my grandpa and dad paint watercolors, uh, seeing images appear on the paper was pure magic. And it still is, even when I'm doing the painting. When I was between five and 10 years old, we lived next door to my cousins. We lived as one big family, eight kids and four parents. My dad was a theater professor. My uncle was a scientist. My mom was a, a pianist. My aunt was an educator. And they all encouraged us to follow our curiosity without restriction. Combining a scientist's curiosity with creative expression became second nature to us and it led me to a search of beauty in all things. I chose the language of realist art to help me capture what I discovered. I always hope that my paintings not only bring beauty into a collector's life, but will also encourage them to see the world a little differently. Um, it's fun when I hear someone say something like, wow, those bok choy are beautiful. Um, I love to cook them, but I never would have thought to paint them. I never know when the muse is going to show up. I try to be open to it, and I'm in constant search for the good and beautiful and basically anything. Uh, and it turns out that simple things are the things that attract me the most. An onion, some lemons, or other produce, uh, water running over a, a rock in a stream, a flower on an old book. Uh, I find the sensuous nature of light as it falls over an object just captivating. Um, and that's probably why my paintings often have a luminous quality. You know, it's all about the light. I love painting things that look like things. And I'm keenly interested in visual perception. And the phenomenon of light and color fascinate me. I also love the physicality of the world. As a result, I have the right combination of curiosity and patience to examine and explore my subject for days or even weeks on end. For every painting, it's my goal to create a unique object of beauty. For individual paintings, I try to recreate the feeling and emotion that I had when I was first inspired by the subject. I use oil paints and um, use some fast drying medium with it. My palette is usually 10 colors, sometimes even fewer. And I use brushes and very often my fingers to apply the paint. And you'll see my fingerprints occasionally on, on a painting. I apply the paint in thin layers. I usually scrub the first layers with a large bristle brush. And the brushes get progressively smaller as its details get smaller down to the tiniest, tiniest brushes. The highlights go on last. And those last touches are applied. I'm often surprised that the painting is finished. And more often than not, I'll stand back and look at a painting and go, how did that happen? It's somehow separate from my experience of painting. In the end, you know, it's, it's all magic.